I hear so many people say that they are just getting back or they used to draw when they were a kid. I get this at every convention. Um, I get it when I'm invited to speak. I have to go speak at a college next week. Um, the beautiful thing about art is that it's not age dependent. It's never too late to pick up. And I'm so excited that you are getting back into it. That is cool. That is, that's, that's the point because it really is about, you know, enjoyment and, 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 and having a good time and expressing yourself and, um, escapism. Most of us get into art because we're looking to escape from, you know, the reality that we live in, in some capacity. And so kudos to you for getting back into it. I would love to see some of your stuff. If you, if you, if you're ever willing to share it, or if you're streaming, let me know. Is there a particular, um, subject matter or genre that you that you is it anime are you into anime are you into comics are you into figure drawing life drawing uh, uh environments you know it's, it's so expansive you know i, I really I, lo I love it when people I, I love artists number one i love people that that have an artistic inclination a creative inclination one of the things i encourage my students is never judge your beginning by somebody else's middle or end, right? We're all at different stages of progress, but the key is, are you gonna be a forever student? Uh, like I just had a bunch of books come in yesterday on anatomy, on perspective, and granted though I have a school, these are for me. You know, if, if I could share my, I have an extensive library, I'm constantly learning, uh, but most artists, we do have that comparison curse, right? Where we're looking at other people's work, you know, we're looking at other people's work and we start beating ourselves up thinking, I'll never be, I, I, I'm, I'm guilty of that. So, you know, I see some some artists today, you know, that are, I, I don't have a lot of artists that I would literally claim fandom of, but there are a few that I'm just a diehard fan of their work. And I'm like, will I ever, become that good, right? Um, now granted though, I'm a little bit longer than the tooth in the game. I know that's not the goal. The goal is, is, is to be the best version of me as an artist. You know, we all go through that, that comparison where my name isn't like my favorite artist, but believe it or not, that's, that's part of the learning process. You know, you kind of set these benchmarks and I, I and using as benchmarks, right? I tell my students, find, find the artists that you admire and develop a scale of execution for yourself, you know? Because not only may you not, you may, may you reach that goal, if you're intentional and deliberate, you can even exceed your favorite artists. You can, you can surpass them. And I think that's what every artist kind of, and I'm talking about execution, because we know art is subjective, right? It's in the eye of the beholder. And that's another thing that I've found is that, you know, there's some people that hate my art, and that's okay. You know, they're not into my style even though I don't have a real style. Um, if you follow this stream, if you follow me and, and join us on a regular basis, you'll see everything doesn't look like this. I have an animation style. I have a cartoony style. I have a slapstick style. Um, this is my iconic superhero style uh, that's still, and all of them are still evolving, but it's all about what, I, what do I feel like today? You know, um, when our art book comes out, we're probably gonna release an art book with all this stuff in it. Uh, probably by next year. Um, the goal is also to release our tabletop game. We release all this stuff. You will see so many different quote unquote styles. You're probably be hard pressed to believe that many of them are me, you know? Um, and so being like that has afforded me, has afforded me a certain muscle now that has developed over time where I, I really stopped comparing myself and, um, even though I still do, occasionally. So I want to be clear, occasionally. It's not, not nearly as bad as it used to be. Um, but as you start developing your, your own voice, you're gonna, find a, you're gonna find a tribe for your voice, okay? You're gonna find people that just like the way you do it, you know, however that looks. And that's what started happening for me. You know, so now when I go to conventions, you can sit me right next to one of the top artists in the industry. And though I believe I can hold my own, just on basic execution, I've seen it. Some people just like the way I do it. And I'm like, well, I, I used to apologize for what I wasn't as an artist. You know, I used to be like, well, I, you know, I, I don't have this artist resume. Shoot, even my, the instructors in my school, 
all my instructors have a, have, in my opinion, a much more impressive resume than me. You know, especially our current one. You know, my stuff was way back in the late 90s, early 2000s. Um, I mean, I recently, you know, Google is my most recent feather in my cap, you know. And so, but my, my, my instructors, you know, that are on my team, man, they all have incredible current resumes, you know. And I'm okay with it, you know. I'm okay with it. I admire them for the professionals they are. Um, but my tribe, you know, they like the way I do it. And that's all you want. You want people, those who support going to rock with you, you want them to rock with you. Everyone's not going to rock with you as an artist. But you, you express yourself, man. You go and get your voice out there. You get your voice out there. You know, when you, when you, when, when you pick certain things like this, though, I have to say, because this, I'm going to give you what I give my students. Um... When you're talking about like things like comics and anime and uh, things that are more illustrative than and and are objective because they have levels of execution, okay? So like anatomy, you know, there is good and bad anatomy. All anatomy is not equal. An anatomy is a fixed, measurable thing, right? Um, perspective is a fixed, um, it's a fixed scientific thing. You can't be subjective with it. Um, coloring, color theory is a thing. Uh, how colors work, how the, how they synchronize, how colors you know how certain colors harmonize or don't harmonize. Uh, that's that's a thing. And so, with all that being said, that's the craftsmanship part. That's not the art part. And so, one of the things I'm actually about to do this on my school's YouTube channel. Um, the needle for artists in the comic craft and the comic arts. Our needle points more towards craftsmanship more so than art, right? If, if, we, if we use the uh, agreed upon um, uh, thought process that art is indeed subjective, that it's based on who's seeing it, then, and we have these rules that we have to play by with anatomy, with color, um, uh, there's, there's measurable execution as opposed to just splattering. I won't say just because there's people making a lot of money doing this as opposed to splattering paint on the canvas and selling for 10, 20 grand. Um, and it's all about who's looking at it. Expressionism and, and all that other all 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 types of art, which I love. I love those arts. Uh, impressionism and cubism. I, I love all of it. Uh, but with what we do, there's a level of craftsmanship involved. And so I tell my students, I'm more of a craftsman than I am an artist um, because there are metrics, there are standards that have to be met in order for, and, and, and the end product is actually weighed on that, right? When I was um, trying to break into the industry, well, when I broke into the industry and I got my first job offer to work on Superman, um, there was no su subjectivity. Can you tell a story? How strong is your anatomy? Um, your pacing, um, your perspective, right? Can you draw a car? Can you draw a house? Can you put things in proportion? These are all metrics, right? That are quantifiable. And if you can meet those, you got a job, right? The beautiful thing is now with the advent of social media, you can find your tribe and not be, and not necessarily have to meet an, indus an, an industrial commercial standard. I think there should always be a standard for quality and excellence. So I will not, you know, I will die on that hill, right? Um, you're always going to, no matter what, what type of art that you, uh, what type of genre that you decide to enter, you're always going to have someone who does that style well and that is a gold standard. Know who that is, right? Because you're always going there that you're always going to be you you're always going to be compared, but you shouldn't always compare yourself if that makes sense. That's human nature. We're, we're always going to compare to what we consider this excellent or something that really you know resonates with us. That's just people. That's just the business side, right? But you should not compare yourself. You should be just trying to be the best version that you can be in whatever style that you decide to adopt, okay?